All right, well, before we get to the weather, we have some good news from my fellow skiers and snowboarders. All due to increased demand, Crystal Mountain is extending its season. So the resort will continue to operate daily until Sunday, April 18th. And then after that, it will be open Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays until May 9th. Res reservations for the extended season open April 1st. Now, Rebecca, I saw a photo of Crystal Mountain earlier today on Instagram, uh, one of the ski signs uh, in the South Back area, and it's like a 10 foot sign, and the snow was right beneath, the snow level was right beneath the top of like the, the label of the sign, of the trail. It was crazy how much wow. snow they have. Yeah. Yeah, that this is dream event, of a dream stretch of weather to have snow like we've got this year. It's, uh, I could check off a, a mark for a good La Nina year for the mountain snow. We're going to see a few more inches of it fall overnight tonight into the morning hours tomorrow. The waterfront right now is pretty cloudy and dry and quiet. Current temperature is 43 degrees. And the skies have cleared out quite a bit. So this is going to allow our temperatures to get a little chilly tonight. But it's not going to be clear for long because you can already see the rain developing offshore. Not really any rain showers scattered inland. Most of the rain now is on the coast. And that rain is directly with a front, a cold front that's offshore. When that pushes in just after midnight, we'll have the steady shot of rainfall moving through. And then behind it, you see those popcorn looking like clouds? That's our cool trough of low pressure. That's the cooler air mass that the front is the edge of. So that will track inland bringing in showers for the day tomorrow. And even early morning, say 2 a.m., as that rain is moving past the coast and making its way inland, it's going to be the mid-morning hours. We'll see a risk of some rain and snow mixed around parts of south Washington. This would be especially stretching just southwest down towards Chehalis and parts of I-5. You can see where that white and pink is. That's indicating a little bit of a rain-snow mix or some small hail and some of these heavy showers. We definitely have a risk of a thunderstorm tomorrow, but mainly on the coast. However, some of these could pop up a little closer inland. For instance, tomorrow right around noon between Seattle and Tacoma over on the Kitsap Peninsula. That's where we could see a band of some heavy showers coming through, and that could potentially bring some lightning and definitely some gusty wind with those heavy showers. For the mountains, it will translate to two to three inches of snow overnight, and then that snow will quickly change over to just showers off and on throughout the day tomorrow. And it's not too bad of a day overall to get out and enjoy that snow and maybe get in a little skiing or snowboarding. Tonight, temperatures are going to be cool in the upper 30s to low 40s. The rain sweeps through and then changes over to rain showers. A few sun breaks, but I think largely we're going to stay on the cloudier side. That risk of a small hail shower, potential lightning strike. Temperatures cool in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. So cooler air is definitely arriving. And we're going to be on the drier side, but cool Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, still a few showers possible. Looks like our next round of rain really comes in on our Friday afternoon and evening, and that changes to showers on Saturday. But across the board, we're going to stay just below normal. Vanessa? All right, you know, you see a lot of 50s in the forecast, and you just keep thinking spring is on the way. Mm. So we can put up with a few rain showers, Rebecca. Yes. Thank you.